I'm here with David Lauderstein, CEO of Nasty Pig. Why don't you let us know a little bit about your brand? We started Nasty Pig in 1994 with this crazy idea of a streetwear brand that would speak to sort of our culture, that our kind of flaunts being gay. We were a little ahead of our time. 20 years later, we're being taken very seriously for it. We make a full line of stuff from underwear to shorts, sweats, jeans, t-shirts, you name it. So what sets your brand apart? It depends on from who. So if you're talking about from, you know, like maybe our you know, gay competitors. Sure. We're a real lifestyle brand in the terms that a real brand speaks to people in their own language. They don't just make a product, they communicate and they converse. Understanding what makes them laugh, understanding that they don't need the lowest common denominator. Sure. It's not just about, you know, showing a guy twerking on a car. What's your favorite item on the rack right now? This, which is like a dress shirt, which right. actually has a harness kind of built into it. So I actually wore this uh, uh, to a wedding with a tie and a blazer, so I love that our brand can be that versatile. I kind of love these shorts, basically from our spring 2016, and they're reversible. So it's the same pair of shorts, you could wear them two ways. Looks great. And for underwear, oh, which I know you guys love. That's what we do. I would probably say these guys, lime green. We try and make a smart brand that's still sexy. Yes, yeah, cerebral brands are valuable. Oh, that's that's all we are. We know how to tell stories, and and, and we and we and we speak to our customers. I admire that. Excellent.